Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, hope you're doing well. Today I thought we'd do another one of these little mini kind of online auction videos um, because there's a, a car going through auction. It's kind of, I don't know why it suddenly came into my head that this is the next sort of car that I think I would like for myself. It might be time to have my own car. I don't really have one. But if I was to have one, I think it's going to be one of these. And it's going to be this rather than what a lot of people seem to like, which is the the larger one. I don't know why I'm saying this, because you've probably seen the thumbnail and title. It's an Audi RS4, the kind of 2013 to 2017, I think, generation. So it's the 4.2 V8, sounds awesome, they just perform really well. Uh, for some reason, I prefer the RS4 Avant to the RS6 Avant. I don't know why, I just, I don't know, maybe it feels like it's a bit more nimble, a bit more everyday car. And I'm very interested to see how it's going to go with the market. Because, I mean, I'm looking at a BMW M6 Grand Coupe right now. That's a 4.4. That's a cool car. I mean, I prefer it in a coupe, I think. Although, would I? I don't know. It's got a cap clean of nearly £21,000, but it's only going for about seven and a half. So, yeah, seems like things might be going cheap. And that just, these cars do seem incredibly good value now. I sort of looked, when I got the idea in my head, do you know what? Rather than say like the Porsche 911 we got out there, which I love, but it's not really an everyday car. This has got a boot. I can put bash in that. It's got a power boot. You know, it's just, it's a bit like my BMW, but if I want to put my foot down and be a hooligan, I can and make awesome noises. Um, so yeah, it's just, I, I mean, the idea probably got out of my head in about three weeks, but either way. I thought we'd have a look um, at it. We've got, it's only about three lots away, but look at that. What a machine with the kind of wide arches and I really like the wheels as well. Um, I'm trying to remember what type of seats have these. I think some of them have got like the wing back seats, haven't they? But this one obviously hasn't. It's not going to be perfect as you expect, but you know, it is a, what, a 10 year old car now. But yeah, I think that's quite cool. Tell you what we should do. Right, so we'll do a quick vehicle score on it before it goes through, just to give us an idea. So the reg is Kilo Papa 1.4. Golf Alpha X-Ray, let's see how it scores. Oh, really well, actually, 831 out of 999. They say that is amazing. Let's have a look at what they're saying. There are zero bad bits on this. It's got on the good side, last MT had no comments, recent MT pass rate is high, mileage is between 30 and 8,000. Average yearly mileage is perfect, bad bits, zero. We can get the vehicle details, engine size, things like that. Um, tax is untaxed, it's still got 241 days of MT left. We've got the mileage tracker, that all looks really good. We can go down as well. I wonder how much horsepower these are. I can't remember off the top of my head. It's got to be 450-ish. So have a look. Vehicle performance. We're logged in so we can tap to reveal that. 444 brake horsepower. Beauty. And only 675 pounds a year to tax. That's not cheap, is it? Um, the great thing about vehicle score is it's pretty much everything you could want in one place. You can even find out if it's ULES compliant. Should we find out? It is petrol. Can you, can you imagine you can have an Audi RS4 Avant and it is ULES compliant? You don't have to pay. So eco-friendly, that car. Ridiculous. But all that information is in here. And then if you are going to spend your money, then you obviously want to do a car history check. So I'd recommend doing the Ultimate Report Plus. It's £11.97. But don't forget you can use my code SHIFTINGMETAL20. Get that in there before you pay and it'll make it just £9.58. That's an absolute bargain and gives you peace of mind when you're buying the car. Right, let's see what it actually sells for. Uh, yeah, 75,000 miles, cat clean at 18.3. Oh, it's gonna go quite strong then. They are desirable, these. I, I don't know if these are less problematic than the RS6. Right, well there we are. We'll carry on talking about it. So 19.3 that sold for, plus fees. So uh, you're looking at like, you know, 19.8 probably on something like that. Let's have a look at Auto Trader and see what it's going for because, uh, funny enough, I just seen an article on my phone as we were looking through then saying that 2024 could be one of the best years for car sales since and including the pandemic. There's going to be some changes, but it seems like the market should be really good. I don't know, that's just what I'm reading on Car Dealer Live magazine. So if we get our Auto Trader portal up here, which is the Bible really when it comes to market valuation. I know a lot of people will slate me for saying that, but you know, 
That's what most people are basing it off of. Right, so our reg is KP14GAX. Mileage is 75,144. Retail is 23,292. So I think we're going to make that 22,995. Let's just have a look how much potential margin. In fact, I must have put this in here already because it already says 22,995. And they will be, what do we say, 19,8, won't they? Well, you can probably say 20 grand by the time they've got it collected. So they are looking at a 2,995 pound gross margin, which is not a lot, really. Right, yeah, sure, they, they'll, they'll be relying on the fact that it'll be popular, and it sounds like a lot, doesn't it? 3,000 pounds, but do you imagine if something goes wrong with the engine on this? You need a timing chain or something. These are things you can't check in the auction, unless you're there, but even then you still can't really check. What's it say in the way of service history? So eight services, but none of them being main dealer. And I know with these, I think it's, well, a lot of these sort of performance cars anyway, the running in service is very important before you start really hammering it. Is that one of the services? We don't know. Will people be asking more money? Let's have a look at the market. Yeah, most of them are actually selling. Well, we've got the highest ones at 103% of market value, down to 93.77%. And we've got one car that's been at Cheshire Performance for 192 days and another one that's been at SM Cars for 172 days. Other than that, they are all under, um, actually, Munich Munich Performance. Uh, they've had theirs for 124 days. Other than that, they look like they're under, under a few months, so um, wouldn't necessarily be a quick sale. But I am going to keep my eye out. But yeah, interesting, isn't it? You would have thought performance stuff, tanking, it's not. The market seems really strong again. And we're well out of the January sort of boost as far as dealers go when everyone's trying to stock up again after Christmas and that kind of period of being off. Yeah, I think prices are on the up again and certainly Range Rover stuff. Although we said the prices, the market was tanking on those. But actually, you've probably seen another little short video we did like this. Um, they seem to be going back up again. Confidence is growing. They're being able to sort out all the security stuff and they're sorting out the insurance stuff. So those prices are going back up again now. So sooner rather than later, if you want a Land Rover product, if you do, if you're brave enough, then uh, maybe now is the time to do it because, yeah, that slowdown in the market is behind us now, I think. Anyway, just another very quick video. Um, I wonder if we can go back on, just to prove the point, let's have a little look and see what else we're doing. We've got a Nissan GTR here. That's a lovely car. Oh, it's just gone. But basically, it was a Nissan GTR 3.8, you know, the mo modern one. That was on a cap retail, or a cap, sorry, a cap clean of 39,800. And it was on 37, so only about a grand under book. We've got a Jag XJ now. But before you go, let's have a look at what the Mercedes Benz C43 does, just to see, you know, is this a general market thing with sports and performance stuff? It tends to be the way, isn't it? The people who still have money during hard times and recessions are the ones who've got lots of money and they're not really affected when it comes to this sort of stuff. So 23,300 is what it should be getting. Grade two, it's in good condition. Just got a service. Yeah, look. It's on sale now because there's only... Yeah, so it's gone over. Gone over the cap clean already, way over. So you can't tell me that the uh, prestige market is tumbling anymore. Depends what you're buying, I guess, but yeah. There we are. Hope you enjoyed the video anyway. It's a very weird short one, but I just thought, I, I find it quite interesting when you look at some of these cars and see what they're going for, see what the market's doing. You've got to keep an eye on it because it's up and down all the time and sometimes if you think it's generally on the up, but you know, there maybe is a bit of news come out about Range Rovers, you might have the opportunity to buy something um, at a good price. Yeah, I suppose one thing to take away is the market is volatile. Who knows what's going on? We don't know, but I think it's gonna start getting better. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, make sure you give it a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe. If you enjoy these sort of short videos where it's me just kind of like looking at stuff and giving you an idea of what's happening in the market, then let me know in the comments and I will try and do more of them. If you think they're rubbish, then also let me know in the comments and I'll stop doing them. You know, time out of my day, but I just think it's interesting. Anyway, that is it. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.